Ladies and gentlemen, we're here for our uh, preliminary working uh, budget for 2022. For those that have never come to uh, attended a budget meeting, this has been duly advertised and the next meeting will be October 12th at 6.30 here. Uh, I would ask that you mute your cell phones and please refrain from texting. Also, if anybody else is recording this other than the borough, if you could please let me know by indicating so. At the end of our discussions, and you will find that we're very informal during a budget meeting, that uh, the public will have an opportunity to ask questions again as usual for three minutes but it's topic specific as to something that we talked about here so uh, if you would refrain from asking any questions until the end of the meeting we start off um, Joe thank you for the worksheet I will remind council that any material you get here this evening and at the October budget meeting is a worksheet to be used by council only. It is not for public viewing until we actually have a first reading of the preliminary budget. Joe, do you want to start? I have some, I have some additions too. Uh, we're, we're real early in the process. So what I do is the first column is the actual for today. Budget the middle column is the budget for 2021, and then I have a preliminary budget which I'm going to put together. Um, I'm just going to highlight a couple of things. The income is not going to change that much, so I didn't, I didn't change it. Um, right now we're at 7.4 mil. The mill is worth with the new reassessment that the mill is worth $109,000. I assume it's going to be the same thing this year. Um, the and that's one change. And our trash right now is 245 a year. That's about 800, 800 half um, that's, that's the income. I didn't really change anything else. Permit fees go up and down. And you'll see later the salaries of our building inspectors. Um, and then the other thing is just the other thing that we're going to do is we're going to have to do some of the work that we did last year. We're going to have to do some of the work that we did last year. We're going to have to do some of the work that we did last year. Well, I don't have uh, the COVID money that you'll receive next year. It's going to be roughly $122,000. That's not the question. I'd love to hear that. But that is the reason why I'm trying. Just to highlight some things on the expense side. And we're going to have to do some of the work that we did last year. We're going to have to do some of the work that we did last year. We're going to have to do some of the work that we did last year. We're going to have to do some of the work that we did last year. So what I did was I did it. Chief Murray gets a small increase based on this contract. Um, Patrick Patrick, I just pledge you 3% of whatever you're going to do. There's, no, there's no contract going for the new year. That's correct. We're in the process of negotiations. Uh, at this point, I'm looking at two and a half. Okay, I'm just, I just threw, threw that in there. But I, I okay. figured, these are just numbers that you have for numbers. <coughs> Yeah. And then uh, I have everybody, I have Linda at 3%, um, Nick at 3%, and the part-timers and the crossing up have 1.5%. And, and that's all based on what everybody else do. That's what we did last year. Um, so that's reflected in there. And then also for Ryan, uh, uh, three, three, so. that's all going to change. And that's just what I have in there. It's not going to be able to see that. Now, one of the big issues um, on the expense side, the yellow is going to be roughly uh, if you go to page three. Line line three is the police protection. Under 410165. This year our MLO is fifty-five thousand three hundred and fourteen dollars. We'll pay that in September or October this year. Next year we get a budget for our actuary of hundred and eighteen thousand one hundred sixty. Having an officer go out of disability at a very young age that totally disrupts the, the, the actuary. They have to make sure that money is budgeted for one of the retirees. You know, we can take it until we retired early. 
So, and you had Coach Marty go out of this place. You had some small places. You had two people who had full term disability. Nothing you get to open. And you were required to fund that because you were required to have a state. So that's one of the big ones. And the other one, I don't think anybody realizes it, but it's the trash. Now, we're paying $145 household for a two pickups a week and two vegetables a month. Mm -hmm. and, and yeah. you know, I have last year and this year's constructed bid. Your trash is going to increase roughly, for example, this year, um, this year our, our, our trash was roughly $122,000 to recycle for the year. Next year it's going to be and you can go to 427, which is uh, 206,000. And that's an increase of about $109 on that trash, even the same. That's how expensive trash has gotten. And I don't have, underneath that trash fee, the $206,000 is the charge, the dumping fee that the county charges. And that's going up $20 a year for the next couple of years. They'll come out probably in October, where I'm thinking another increase. So that $71,000 is going to jump. The cost of trash is getting really expensive. But I, and I always say that my trash bill pays $200 or $40 a year for two weeks to pick up the week because it's a steal. You know, I mean, the good trash people, I mean, the same way where I live, it's expensive. My best bill, I mean, trash pick up twice a week, every week, every week of the year, before I come off. I mean, a burger thing. That's a big one. Now the, and there's also been a request for the highway of a um, pickup truck to dump part the dump of it. Yeah, that's not good down. That's requested uh, on 430, 450, and 54. Now the key, see, the, the only two issues I really see, we have a, this primary budget showing a $164,000 deficit. But that, that that the only two reasons causing that is the trash and the um, MMO. And the MMO. Everything else is pretty much in line. Um, you can do the, 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 uh, the drivers any way you want to do them. And then your the chief put in for some uh, contracting items. It's all, it's all, you can probably pay that with COVID. Right? It's a good and we'll also try to put five more cash flow in the year. You can do I'll refund some of the expenses. And you've done a really good job maintaining your expenses with the line of And uh, knock on wood, you keep doing that way. We haven't had any problems with the building or anything like that. And you're, you're pretty much residential based. You have no in industry, and, and the business is small. The business is not done into business. Yeah, so the residents bear the front of the services after the res real estate tax. Um, I also kept the contribution to the firehouse the same in 97 5. We made three quarters of payments this year. Um, if you, you know, the permit fees are up from late. We have another good year of permit fees. I don't know if this. Um, but it's just going back to what I said. The trash is getting real expensive. They have nowhere to dump it. And, and you're in the know, which is no fault of anybody's cops get hurt. And, you know, you want to throw money out of your money. And I'm still waiting. Um, October, we're going to get a renewal for the health insurance. Uh, I know it's like a four or five percent. That's been fairly reasonable in the next couple of years. And then also, uh, our, our insurance is our workers' comp, our uh, general liability, our crime uh, insurance, property insurance, and our police and public liability insurance. I don't have two percent of the Pretty much as good as your department heads, the code is going to admit, the chief, they did a good job. And they heard the same thing that they talked about, the reasonable expenses that they say with the budget. The council did a great job overseeing it. We've not disciplined three or four years in a row to increase in services, and they're still pretty, pretty uh, relatively low on the tax base side, and the trash is low. So it's kind of up over $300. And they don't get too. Well, some of the um, some of the things you touch base on, and I know um, I 
have some other wish lists that I don't think got to you in time. Uh, one of them, uh, Harry and I were talking about with Doug uh, before the meeting. And uh, for recreation, we'd like to budget $6,700 for the new year. You got it. We'll take the 50. And we had a conversation earlier with 3500 in the budget was for the rec committee. Am I reading this budget correct? Like, do I have that no, 60 for next year. No. But if you look at what he has listed for next year and what we have budgeted for this year, it's exactly the same. So well, that's, for that's, state. So that's what I'm saying is I'd like to increase. Yes. You want to increase it? I would the, like the, to the, increase it to six thousand seven hundred. The, the, the thirty-five hundred. Go to the next page on page five. Right. It's already in there. But the conversation we had. If, yes, if I understood because we you, cut the budget you, because we did not know uh, where we so, were going with COVID, so we brought it down to thirty-five hundred. Right. So, for the actual rec committee, we're. I, if, Understanding President Percival, only the 3500 is rec committee on that. So that 3500 is what we're looking to up to 67. That's correct for 2022. I've always used these three lines. I know this is all three. I think the council, I think Harry's looking at the contractual obligations. Yeah versus the actual money that goes to the recreation to do community events. So for community events next year, I'd like to see six thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars. Yes, those that'll okay. Can we change the name of contracted services to community charter county the state DC you got he's limited on labels. Yeah. So I'm not happy I usually get off the and contributions to the rec board, who does that go to? That's like $100 to croquet and basketball, the library, stuff like that. You do stuff like that. So we do $2,500 with yeah. that? I budget that, but you yeah. sometimes don't even meet You that. don't use it all, but yeah. we keep it as a safety net. And yeah. we also can use that. So like if you look at Parks and Recreation, Parks and Recreation, don't forget, also includes some of the woodlot if you need somebody down there to take care of something for an emergency. Right. What I'm saying to Perry before the meeting is the parks and playground if you look at section uh, 45 0. 0.000 that's your budget that's going to be what you have for events or whoever the chairperson is for those events for 2022 so, so I don't need to change anything keep it at 6750 yes please 2035 25 25 I'd also like to um, see that we contribute to the firehouse an even hundred and fifty thousand instead of hundred and thirty two. Well, we have a budget of ninety seven five. That's right. For next, so can that carry over and increase that? We were talking about the four four in January. So it's still the same three four years. Okay, you want to keep it that way then? Unless you want to, you're going to have to allocate about 40 grand. Oh, we'll keep it as it is. Okay. Wait, you, you want to change from 97.5 to 150,000? No, that's much squash. No, that's much squash. No, that was, that was You're not understanding um, the accountability as far as the next, the last quarter of this year will be paid in January of 2022. So instead of increasing it by um, 20,000 some dollars, then we'll just stay where it is. So it would be 97 by month? Yes. Okay. And so, you know, I still don't know where that number came from last year as to how it was determined. But that's what the fire company needed. Like, how do we know?
I mean, is that what the fire company needs to survive? Like, how do we know what what the fire company needs? We we. I, I was excluded from a meeting last year, and I still. No, I you were not excluded from a meeting. You were unable to attend the meeting. You were away. You were away on vacation. I understand. Right, and I was trying to participate on the phone. So. And I, the I'm, fire company made it known that that information was privy to those in the meeting because of the ambulance service being pulled out and their finances, other than tax dollars, are their responsibility and their information. So if you're going to state something, please state it accurately. Okay, well, I feel like I was... We, stopped, we had the meeting, which you could not attend because you were on vacation, and we came up with the sum of approximately $132,000 to be able to help the fire company stay in business. This would include paying for their utilities, repairs on the fire truck, um, a basic round figure uh, that also allevi alleviated any of their ambulance problems so that they no longer have a payroll for the ambulance. Uh, they don't have the income from the ambulance either. So that was a figure that was proposed and was reasonable. So, so what is the fire company's total budget? The income that we give to the fire company totally is 132000 No, it's 97000 No. She's looking no, at the total. Um, let's oh. start with, how about if we break it down by quarter? We give them $32,500 a quarter, correct? And that's what we send them at the end of each quarter. The end of 2021's quarter, because we will be short on funds at the end of the year, will be given to them at the beginning of the new year. So it is changing from 97500 Does somebody else want to try? It just so, over. Scott, you're carrying that over carrying to that the yep, next year. It. It's like your so family you're budget. Making, we're making the four payments, right? But we're pushing that one into the fourth quarter. We're going to keep doing that forever. Yeah. Well, I don't know about forever. But if we increase it to 150,000, then that's going to make an increase on the budget of 40, <laughs> approximately uh, 20,000 dollars. So if everybody is in agreement to keep it as is, then we'll keep it as is. I don't know. You maybe need to use COVID money for that too. Capital. Well, I see the COVID put into the account in case we need it for something. Yeah, we have, but I mean, it's like Edgemont Avenue. Yeah. Right. Um, another thing that I have, uh, we already have eighteen thousand in. Uh, for the highway, for the truck bed, right. as Joe, I don't see that. In 195, I kept the 1500 I budgeted last year, and we had an 18 for Okay. He has a bold face. Uh, just so everybody knows, we've been budgeting for the bed for the um, dump truck for two years. We keep pulling it out because we didn't want to, uh, we had other expenses to deal with. So that's in there. Uh, we talked about this as to the woodlot, Joe. Um, I know you have the park and recreation contractual services, but I really think that we need to be at $10,000. Uh, we have 4000 for an emergency tree removal um, this summer. We have, we're contracting uh, with a company to spray for lantern flies that are polluted down there. So I think a $10,000 increase for the woodlot uh, maintenance is a good start. And then that's something we can use next year's summer COVID money to go back in and clean out the woodlot with the vegetation. So additional 10 grand for woodlot maintenance? I would give it at 10,000 tops. Okay, so just add third. Just increase the 6750 I have from 10 grand. Mm -hmm. Okay, that, that additional three will be. Right. So that leaves 7,000 for the fix up the lot? If we have to, we still have uh, we still have about two thousand we can work with. Okay, hold on. I'm 
I might be mishearing what you're saying versus what she's saying. Okay. I'm saying that you want to, you want the, the contractual the total would be 50, 10 grand the total. That would be, I'd, I'd add an additional $3,250. So are you saying she wants 10 saying? grand just yeah. set aside for the woodlot? So just it's contractual. So, so that's 10 on top of 67. Yes. The 6750, and maybe we can break this down a little bit further. The 6750 will be next year's chair's budget for recreation. Yeah, I can, I can actually put the. Uh, you want to add a new line item? Yeah, I can do that. I'll add another line item for the parks and players. Move on. That's what I'm doing. Anything that would okay. be a logical item. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'll do that. Because I, it sounded like I was just wanted to clarify because it was like two different things on the 10. Well, that's getting really um, beat up. I think it's time that we oh, we invest in tow. We, we keep boasting how Parkside's got the, the wood lot and we have the new Ford Fitness Trail going. Yeah, did you, did you and we've got the Chester. I think we're going to need to just fix it up as best we can. I mean, like I said, you got COVID and we have some guys down. So you have money to do it. Okay. Yeah, I mean, and just so council's aware, um, Chief Murray put in a budget for a total of 21000 this does not include wages. Uh, he's looking to get a DMS software for managing uh, policies, training, uh, interdepartmental communication, uh, access control software, hardware for the police department, upgrade the camera system. Uh, he's also adding uh, some fixtures for the holding cell to make it in compliance with the certification that he's into. Data accreditation software, and I have that you have that? 410750 capital purchases. That's it. I had 25 this year. We did spend it. It's up like 25. Yeah, they did not spend. They no, controlled they their budget amazingly well. And, and, and our, we should see a, a drastic drop in our workers' comp, too. We went through the best cops being out for a while. Our rates went up the last couple of years with cops not being there. That our rates have been very good. Nobody's going out of comp. So I should drop down from 60000 We did very well on our workers' comp. Um, we actually received a refund. Yeah, exactly. So we did very well. Very well. Uh, the other issue I have, um, did you give, did you get the fire marshal? Just got it. Just got it now. Okay. So uh, the fire marshal uh, budget and emergency management and health inspector are all combined. So Joe's got a copy of that. Okay. Does anybody have any questions so far? On council, any councilmatic questions? Do we have a line item for staff training? Staff, well, staff development? There's a line, we have, I have a couple of accounts, like the administration, for example, which is on page two. SAB classes and webinars are all free, yeah, so you great. have to check their schedule. It's a great association. Mm -hmm. So $165 is the dues? No, that's, what, no, that's, just, that, that's, what, that's just what we paid for. Anything that dues and subscriptions you belong to, it's focused in there. So that's all we paid so far this year because of the COVID stuff. Stuff hasn't really opened up at the, the state level as much. So that's all I spent so far. That's memberships. The mayor wanted to join the Mayor's Association is like 60 bucks. It's different types of groups where you need information. And I do that up to wherever. You know, subscriptions, the boroughs, 
newsletter or stuff like that. I think that's going to be brought to you here. You just ask Lindsay, she probably has some number and everything for the Bar Association. And then staff development for code official, uh, borough secretary, that's all in the same. With the borough secretary, if you wanted to do staff development, you know, you reflect your mass miscellaneous item. There's no specific line item. Yeah. And then for code, it should be four, uh, 413, uh, chart of account numbers. They also have a miscellaneous public safety thing in there. If they need to get certifications, it will be reflected there. And that's $5,500. That's a bunch of things, different things. That's just, when you say miscellaneous, it's just stuff that can't be classed and there's line items. So it's like in there, and I can always give you um, a general ledger of miscellaneous accounts and what exactly what they are. Well, let me interject with that code official stuff. Everything I had for the last six, six years, I paid for myself. The simple reason is that I wouldn't want the taxpayers paying for any of my certifications and then I'll just get up and leave and go somewhere else. So that's why I do it myself. Yeah, I got like five certifications in there. I'm a professional. And our inspectors, uh, they do their own and another municipality in which their employee pays for theirs. And there are occasions where they will ask us to pay for a class. But they've yeah. been very generous to us. Our electrician is not an employee, so he got a subcontract. Does anybody else have any questions so far? 